of projects where you have to fight for your score to be heard. And then I think you learn very quickly to leave your ego at the door. <laughs> My name is Shavan Shah and today I'm going to be having a conversation with this super talented rapper in the house. What's up? Hello, how are you? I am great. How are you doing? Very well. Perfect. So, you know, I wanted to actually ask you this. Uh, so when I talk to artists, right, uh, especially in the process of filmmaking, they keep saying this, that when there is a background score that's added, it just elevates the scene from the level that it is shot at to a notch up. Okay. Uh, do you, un like, what do, What are your thoughts on this, actually? I guess that's the art of scoring, really, isn't it? It's know, knowing when to come in, when to speak, and when to not. Mm. Um, I mean, it's, the world of John Wick is so larger than life. Yeah. I think it gives you a lot of, uh, it gives you a lot of license to play. True. And, and it gives you a lot of license to, to, to be big, you know. Um, but I think, actually, some of the art of, particularly with action sequences and things like that, it's, it's knowing when to leave it alone, you know, yeah. when to come out. You know, I, I find the way I write is I, I put loads of ideas down. It's sort of this stream of consciousness almost in a musical form. And then really it's about kind of chipping stuff away and, and you know, moving things out of the way, making space for the dialogue, making space for the, uh, you know, effects and gunshots and whatever. Uh, so it's um, it's an interesting process, but essentially that is the art of scoring. It's knowing, knowing where to come in. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was the first episode yesterday, uh, my favorite scene, especially because of the score, uh, was the scene where there's a fight sequence going on and at the same time Hansel and Gretel are taking the lift, okay? Yes, yeah. So you have those tha 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 happening and suddenly there's this calm music playing and there's suddenly this comic angle that comes in, right? Yeah, so now when you were making that, did you know that that's the kind of effect it's going to have on the audience? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the needle drops are consciously put in there for, for sometimes for comic effects, you know, like that particular scene. And, you know, it's nice that sort of... Um, that bathos that it creates, you know, between the, uh, the, the kind of the charged, you know, uh, we've got to get out of here, you know, action sequence to, to then, it's very calm and they're very sort of, you know, menacing and, and her sort of slight little kind of head movements, she's dancing along, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. It's yeah. Funny and but have you ever witnessed something where you probably were like, hey, this background score is too loud. I need to like, like, you know, probably if it, if the background score was a little quieter, it would have been better. Have you have you been a part of something like this? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, sometimes, you know, there are projects where you have to fight for your score to be heard. And then there are projects where it's like, maybe we just don't have score here, you know? And, and I think particularly with a, with uh, films like this, mm -hmm. it's, it's because it is such a big thing and there is so much happening, it is really about sometimes like, let's just, let's just leave this to the action here or, you know, leave this to the sound effects or yeah. I think sometimes it just lands a bit better. You know, it's, it is a show where, where you kind of accept the oral, uh, like assault on you, you know, cause it's, there's a lot happening. Yeah. Um, but knowing when to come out again, that's kind of part of the art of it. Yeah. But is it easy being an artist? Because, you know, artists are greedy, right? Like you said, sometimes you want your score to be heard. Sometimes sure. you want people to notice what you've done. Sure. Uh, and taking that decision, you know what? There's a lot already happening on screen. Let's just not do anything. Is that easy to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you learn very quickly to leave your ego at the door uh, with, with, with any sort of project because it doesn't it doesn't work you know it's um it's you know picking your battles as well you know sometimes there are, there are there are moments where it's like look i really believe in this moment and i think actually the scene is poorer for for not having the score not being able to hear the score um and then there are moments where it's like cool yeah i get it you know i, I spent like 12 hours working on that section but take it out <laughs> oh god and when that happens there's a piece of your heart literally leave yeah no, with that. no it's fine it's, fine. It's, it's just part of the process you know yeah and you accept it Perfect. In the entire series, uh, which is that one scene particularly that you had to fight for your sequence, like fight for your score to be there. And when you, you know, the way it is turned out, you're like, damn, I can't wait for the audience to actually watch this scene. Yeah, I mean, I have to say Albert was incredibly generous with the score and, uh, you know, he, he really allowed it to be heard. So I never I never really had to fight for anything. To be uh -huh. um, I think if anything, it was more just like in a few moments with the action and things like that, where I was like, maybe let's just lose let's lose it there you know so uh yeah it was a nice it was a nice change really in that respect you know there was nothing nothing particularly that I had to fight to be heard but um but yeah so it's a good yeah. process in that respect perfect if i actually have to ask you that which is that one project that you've been a part of where you know creating the score was really difficult which project would that be for you they all have difficult moments you know i mean i i, I think the the biggest the biggest problem is time so with this one 
it was I was involved from such an early stage. I had loads of time, which was great. You know, yeah. I, mean, I had I could experiment and, and record and do whatever. Um, but I need that little bit of pressure just to sort of make me finalize it. You know. So, but then of course, the the longer you leave it, the tighter the time frame becomes, and then it just becomes bang 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 bang, 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 bang <laughs> and and it's there's almost like perfect. And the last one coming your way. If I met you in 2015 and told you that in 2023 you'd be doing the score for the Continental, would you believe me? No, I wouldn't. No, <laughs> why? I would, have, I would have. I would have. I would have said I'd love to do something like that. And I think had I seen this is the thing, I, I realized how great it was what I, what I what I've done with this in the mm -hmm. sense that I, if I saw that on TV, I'd be like, that's something I'd really like to work. Uh, on. And I've worked on it, and it's like that's wow. That's really cool. No, but that's absolutely true. I mean, you you guys have done a fab job in creating what you guys have. Uh, I can't wait for the audience to see that. Uh, hoping to see you super soon. Congratulating you already. Till then, this one is a wrap.